flash smelting. The mixture is now ready to have its iron, sulfur and other metals removed in the flash furnace. In the concentrate burner inside the furnace, oxygen is blown in and the mixture melts into an incandescent rain that falls to the bottom of the furnace. Smelting produces gases containing sulfur dioxide. These gases are drawn off and cooled, creating high-pressure steam. The steam is used to power turbines that spin so fast, they actually make 25% of all the electricity Atlantic Copper uses. Back to the flash furnace. At the bottom, the melted concentrate separates into slag and mat, which have different densities like oil and water. The slag, mainly iron, floats on top. It runs off a side channel into an electric furnace where the tiny bit of copper still remaining is recovered. The slag left over is water-cooled into granules. This end product, iron silicate, has different uses like building roads. Meanwhile, the mat, which is 62% copper, flows out through ducts to ladles in which it is carried to other furnaces where all the remaining iron, sulfur and other metals are removed.